Now let's add and visualize mask layers. So we take the network uh, as we built it so far and we're going to add in a mask by feature. So this, there's different ways of doing this. You can do it, as we said, by slope here. Uh, but you can also layer in other things. For instance, mask by direction. So if we get a, an angle of 136 and a spread of 180, uh, you can get uh, all of this area here. And then you can play around with the angle to sort of get what you want. Let's go with 136. Then we're going to go in and do a copy layer. And we're going to take that mask and put it into something called slope. So this is a way that we can create a mask and then turn that into a, a layer. And then we clear the mask. So this is a process you might do a few different times while building this up. Is you specifically do something so that it's a layer you can use later on. And so this one, we put a group uh, network box around it. And we will specifically uh, label this as create slope mask. So we create the mask, define the mask, copy the layer, and then clear. So let's go in and again mask by feature. This time we'll do it a little differently. We're going to use different angles here under mask by slope and then we'll mask by curvature and you can set a value and then what you can do is take this these this ramp here and we're going to move these part points over to just tighten that up. So we're going to get basically define all the little crevices uh, that are on there. And we're going to use that as one of our, our layers to work with as well. So you can define uh, these very specific look that you want. So let's, we're going to copy the layer again. So just like we did before. So now the mask is going to become the, and we're going to call these peaks. So these are the little peaks that, that occur all over the mountain range. And then we're going to clear. So again, take that, put that in a network box, and we can simply name that create peaks mask. And at the end, you clear the mask so that you can start again and add something new. Now we're going to put in a, a height field visualize node, and you can go in and you can compute range so it sort of has the peaks at the top and, and the ramp sort of takes that down. Uh, you can also go in and specifically take things like the peaks and give them a color, the slope, uh, and the flow. So all the, all the layers we've built so far can be used to help visualize and color uh, this. Now, this one didn't quite, after setting those things, it didn't quite, I, I had to bypass the node and bring it back to get the, the actual colors that were being assigned, but um, this will give you a sense. So now I'm just going to go in and change all of those things to 111 to create sort of a snowy look for what we've done. We've got, and then the initial ramp, uh, we're going to make that sort of a dark gray. So it's, uh, so you've sort of got a white on a gray, grayish area there. 